also today is vlogmas day four i have a christmas party with church to go to it is our choir christmas party hopefully the light is not um i'm going to get ready with you obviously you could tell that by the title or the thumbnail of this video so that's what we're going to do i look a hot mess i'm sort of semi-dressed not really but um so you're going to get ready with me i got a few things that i want to play around with so um that is exactly what we're going to do I'm waiting my beauty blender cody is about to head off to work here shortly want to come say hey sugar foot my foot tastes like sugar we'll be millionaires <laughs> hi guys <laughs> These are the two I've been using. One's illuminating and one's just regular, but they're both tan. They're both the same color, but. And we're back, my, my battery died. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I've been putting the illuminating one like in the places that I would put like highlighter or anywhere that I would want light to hit my face. So, you know, down the bridge of your nose, anywhere that you would put like highlighter or concealer. But I really don't wear concealer anymore. I know I'm very low maintenance with my makeup plus this is a color correcting and it's got like everything in it I feel like so I just don't need all of that anymore which is why I don't mind spending the money and getting this because I don't have to buy all the other stuff that I normally do and it's good for my skin it's got a bunch of different um like vitamins and stuff in it at least I say that I'm not sure but I really like it so how beautiful am I <laughs> So Cody broke the chair that I'm sitting in, so let's hope that I don't fall out because it's like mm. <laughs> it is on its last leg literally. Oh gosh, I got so I gotta get a new vanity seat chair thing. I really like these. I've heard I've talked about them a hundred times. Um I just really like the way they feel on my skin. They don't break me out. I don't feel like I got a whole bunch on my skin. Cause I hate that. I actually think I want to try some of this. <laughs> I wore this for my Halloween costume. This was the Wet n Wild double. This is the Wet n Wild dual ended contour stick. Okay. Did daddy leave lady? He left. I was thinking about not even going to the party tonight just because I don't feel like wonderful. <laughs> uh wonderful mother nature I don't think that's TMI because I mean shoot at least 80% of my audience are women and I mean we all have to deal with it at some point in time it's a period whether we want to talk about it or not she's coming <laughs> um, I always said that my walls are falling that was like my code for when my period was happening my walls are falling that's how my friends would know that I was on my period my walls are falling so i wish it was like more talked like more easily talked about because i feel like when you're growing up and you get your period for the first time if people just talked about it like it was nothing i feel like you wouldn't be so uncomfortable about it i remember being in middle school i don't know where this conversation is going i remember being in middle school and my period started and mama was so weird like she was trying to like talk to me she was like is there anything that you want to talk about um you want to discuss anything i'm just like get out of my room <laughs> mama do you remember that it was so weird i remember it starting because i was i was calling my best friend i was like i think today is today because we all knew what it was what grade was i in sixth grade i think we all knew what it was and we all knew it was going to come eventually so it was just a matter of time but i knew what it was when it was coming and i kept like updating her and like I, at least it didn't start at school i remember i had just got home from school and i called her and i was like i think i think this is it i think this is what it, you know we had that health class about i think i think it's about to pop off <laughs> literally <laughs> If you're trying to figure out why I'm using two different things, it's because one, the spoolie broke on my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wheels. This is an old one. And then I'm out of my brow stylist definer, but the spoolie's still here, so I'm having to use both of them. I love the brow stylist definer. Um, I like the, the brow wheels from ABH, but when you talk about the price difference, 
I got to go with the um the L'Oreal because I feel like you get the same thing and you get to save money. So, and then obviously my spoolie broke on my more expensive one. So, I mean, I'm going to stick with my L'Oreal. But I'm out and the last time I went and bought it, I didn't have any. So, I bought the other one and I didn't like it as good. It's the, it's a thicker one. It's this one. I don't like this one. I feel like it's just too big and I don't have as much control when I'm filling my brows in. Because I like them to look as natural as possible. I don't want it to look like I drew these suckers on. Much, much better. Isn't it crazy what difference eyebrows make? And to think, back when I was doing like my makeup in high school or when I first started doing makeup, I really didn't wear my makeup to high school if I'm being totally honest. I wear makeup as much now as I did back in high school, which is hardly ever. So I definitely was not one of those girls that had to wake up at the crack of dawn to go and beat my face before school. And of course back then makeup was not like it is now because looking at kids in high school now, y'all, you can tell they watch YouTube videos. <laughs> you can really, really tell. These girls have like nicer makeup than I do and they wear it like every day. No, you know, I don't have a problem with that, but I just, I don't have a problem with them wearing it every day. I mean, that's their prerogative. You do you, boo, but Lord Jesus, Paige just ain't got time for all that. I'm doing good to just fill some brows in and put a little bit of something on my face. Like, mm -mm. I'm too lazy. And I, I want to say that it has a lot to do with my skin too. Because I don't put, not saying that makeup's bad for your skin. When I don't wear as much makeup... I feel like I don't have as many problems with my skin. So, and too, I feel like it has something to do with the product. So that's why the bulk of my product, which is my foundation, I like to make sure that it's a nice foundation. And not something that's going to clog my pores and make me regret putting it on later. So that's why I really like that CC cream. Anything that I use in the video, I will find it and link it down below. So if there's something you want to try. Especially that CC cream. If you're looking for a good foundation. Some people um, say that it makes them feel oily. I've never had that problem. And I do have um, like combination oily skin. So it's not really dry. It's kind of dry in certain spots. That's why I say combination. But it all depends on like the time of the year. Like right now of course it's cold outside. So everybody's skin I feel like is a little drier than normal. So. <gasps> I have to stop and pick up some kind of something for the party. <sighs> Normally I am the type to make something fantastic to take to a party because I like to show off. But where's my highlighter? <laughs> really hoping I don't fall out of this chair. Normally I'm the type to go and like make something wonderful and take to the party to show off and be like Martha Stewart in the house. Because I am my mother's daughter and I guess that's where I get it from. Anything dealing with that we want to be like homemaker to the thousandth percent we want to show off with our cooking skills and stuff like that but I just ain't had time and when I went to the grocery store that was the last thing on my mind was something to take to this party so I am just gonna stop maybe go to Walmart and get like one of those meat trays or something I know but I'm also just get some chips and dip but I just feel like that's just I don't know I don't want to do the whole chips and dip thing. I do want to play with my Christmas present from my best friend Kelsey. She got me the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I do want to throw on just a few shadows from the palette. I love it. I got to play with it a little bit. And I love it already, which I knew that I would. I have always wanted a Morphe palette. I was going to get the 350 and I just couldn't justify it because I feel like Morphe's, um, their shipping is ridiculous. So... I just hid, I hid it away from myself, but when Jaclyn came out with this, because I always wanted the Jaclyn Hills Favorites palette, but of course that's like, doesn't even exist. So when she came out with this palette, with Morphe, I was all over it. I knew I wanted it, and then they sold out, and of course my best friend managed to get her hands on it, because she was like waiting, waiting. So she has everything Jaclyn Hill has ever created, she's got it all. She surprised me with this 
as my Christmas gift and she gave it to me early. So I wanna play around with it. These colors are beautiful. The pigment is crazy. It's so crazy. So I'm just gonna dab in some of these more neutral colors and just do something neutral on my eyes. I'm wearing like all black and very comfortable but I have on a dress with some leggings and I'm gonna throw on some some boots. And I was hoping that maybe my my makeup would just dress it up just a smidgen. I am gonna do, I'm putting a sweater on over this. I think it's gonna be this green one I have. It's like a, sort of like a army green, I guess. I also need to do my hair, so I better hurry up. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is just sort of curl some pieces that aren't curled. Um, Cody did cut my hair for me, so if you've noticed in any vlog that my hair's been down in recently and it looks shorter, it's because we cut it. So we cut about, um, because I wanted to go straight across and it was sort of in like a rounded out V. So there was some, there was parts in the middle that were kind of a lot longer. So there were some parts that got about two inches cut off and then for the most part, at least an inch was cut off everything else. So... It's significantly shorter, but it looks so much better. It looks so much healthier. So, finally, so glad that I was able to talk Cody into doing that. <laughs> uh, I could have went to the salon, but I know how I am, and I know how particular I am, and I know how much of a chicken I am when it comes to cutting my hair. So, it was just easier if I let Cody do it. And because by the time it, I would have finally gotten a salon, I would have talked myself out of getting it cut. So, that's how that goes. My gosh, this is beautiful. That's probably my new favorite color. I wish I got the... I wish they would put the names on all the packaging. So then I would know which color is which. But this color is so pretty. It's on the third row. It is this one right here so i really hope by next year we have like a better internet service offered through here because i just had so many ideas for vlogmas this year that i wanted to do but not enough days in 12 days of vlogmas i would love to be able to do all 25 days so hopefully next year i'll be able to do all 25 because i would just love that I was looking at my calendar and I was trying to like plan out each day and I would look and I'm like, okay Paige, you need more days. I think you thought you had more days than you had and you don't. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I'm thinking about getting eyelash extensions because I'm so lazy and my eyelashes just suck so bad and I hate putting on mascara. I hate putting on false lashes. <laughs> Uh, so I was thinking about getting like the lift and tint or the eyelash extensions, but I think I'm going to just go all in and get the eyelash extensions, but I am not getting like the long, more glamorous looking ones. If I get them, it would just be make mine just more fuller, um, just more would dense be the word because they're just so sparse so it would just give them just something where they would look fuller and just like a smidgen longer i'm not in it for the length i don't want them for the length i want it more so for the fullness because i don't want it to just like look like i have that on like i have them on and like i'm missing makeup on my face i don't want it to look like i'm missing makeup like I done my lashes, but then i don't have any else any other makeup on because we all know that i do not wear makeup like that so if I were to just get those done and then it stick out like a sore thumb, that would drive me nuts. Because you're always asking what's on my lips, I am going to put this Neutrogena Hydro Boost and this NYX Liquid, wait, yes, Liquid Suede in the color. I think it's soft spoken. So then I'm going to do my hair. I have not gotten to watch any Christmas movies yet. I mean, I've watched Elf and I've watched Frozen, but as far as like the older, you know, the ones you like to watch every year. Well, I've watched The Grinch, so yeah, I have watched The Grinch, but I watch that all the time. Um, Cause they keep that on Netflix. I watch that all the time. I wanted to watch some like Home Alone and all the Santa Claus is. And every time I mention something like that, he just shuts me down. And I'm like, you know what, buddy? That's fine. 
So we have literally watched everything that Cody's wanted to watch and not watched any Christmas movies that I wanted to watch. So I thought the night when he goes to work and I'm here by myself, I'm going to watch all of them. <laughs> I wanna, I've added them all to my favorites list so I could go ahead and watch them when I get back. If you have lash extensions or if you've had them before, what did you, if you have them now, do you, ow, do you, do you love them? Would you suggest getting them? Um, I don't wear a lot of makeup, which is why I wanted to get them. Because I typically, when I do wear makeup, I will fill in my brows, try to do something with my lashes, which I hate trying to wash off mascara because it just bugs the crap out of me. And then I hate putting on lashes because I feel like it's so time consuming. So... I'm thinking about getting them done. I'm just worried about the maintenance. I got a bunch of like curly hair happening around my around my head. So I'm gonna straighten those before I do anything. See how this does this? <laughs> it's because it's been pulled up in a ponytail. I'm gonna show you how I sort of curl my hair with my flat iron. Cause I get so many questions about it. I'm patiently waiting on a curling wand to come in. That was supposed to be here like, I thought like a week ago. It's so nasty. There's always saying it doesn't look nasty, but it feels nasty. See, it doesn't need much. This side always needs help. Always. For some reason, it doesn't want to. Whatever is like my non-dominant side at the time, because I do switch sides with my hair. I don't leave it on one side or the other. Um, the other side always needs, needs help from Jesus. Normally, I will use my Paul Mitchell smoothing iron, which I prefer. But this one was already in the bathroom. This is a Chi. She's not my favorite in the world because you can't control the heat levels on it. Which I do not suggest because you do not need 400 degrees on like all hair types. You just don't. That's just not realistic. That's how you burn your hair all off. I want to do a video about like my hair care routine. What I use on it. How I take care of it. As far as like vitamins go. All of the stuff like that. Um, cause I do take vitamins for my hair and I also use like certain like shampoos and conditioners, stuff like that. If that is something you want to see in the new year, cause that's what I'm planning for right now is January videos, which is so crazy that I'm planning for 2018 videos. That just blows my mind how fast 2017 just blew on by. I feel like it went, it was, it was a year that I will never forget. So much stuff happened in 2017, but whew, I am praying for a good year. I know 2018 is just going to be, I'm claiming it as my year. My hair has changed incredibly over the last few years because of things that I've changed in my hair care routine. So it's a lot healthier now. It grows a lot more and a lot quicker because it would take forever for my hair just to grow an inch. Like, because what would end up happening is it would grow an inch in like, mm, seem like two months because it would grow and then it would break off. Grow and it would break off because I was killing it with heat. I would get up like every morning if I was going somewhere, which was for the most part, just any little place I was going because I wasn't taking care of my hair. I would get up and flat iron the crap out of it, not use, hello, not use any kind of heat protectant at all, just, just do whatever with it, and it just would never grow, so it was growing, but I wasn't seeing any results because it would break as fast as it would grow. So I might would see like a few inches in a year because I was hardly ever getting it cut too. And that was another thing that was not helping was not getting haircuts. You have to get haircuts. If you don't get haircuts, you have to cut off the bad. That's like in your life, you have to cut off the bad before you can see growth. So if there's some bad people in your life that's holding you back and you're not growing and you're not seeing anything change, Probably because you need to cut those people out of your life. I've had to do that. And it seemed sad in the midst of it. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to lose a friend that I've had for however long. 
but the friendship wasn't the same as what it was and it already served its purpose past that season in life so even when it's something you're so used to i think that's why we don't want to do things a lot of times or like get out of a certain situation is because we're just we're comfortable we're used to it even though it's not even like the best possible situation for us to be in and god can have something plan for us that's like so much better but we are just so content in our comfortableness where we just don't want to move it's just crazy what we will allow ourselves to not have because of us being comfortable with the things that we do have because we're just so set in our ways and we don't want to get out of our comfort zone so even though there's something bigger and better on the outside of that little bubble that we're living in it's like oh i don't want to leave my bubble i know my bubble i know all the all everything about my bubble i know what it smells like i know how it feels i know exactly how big it is i'm okay i want to stay in my bubble even though that the beyond my bubble is just so it's everything i ever wanted but i'm just too scared to get out of my bubble preaching to myself too not just to everybody else <laughs> The curls will fall out a smidgen, which is what I like. I like it to look tousled and just lived in, breathed in, <laughs> slept on. I'm gonna use my black opium. I don't know where the, the bigger one is. This is normally my travel size, but I think I turned my big one into my travel size. When I spray on perfume, I always spray it in the hug zone areas. So since I'm going to a party, I know somebody will hug me and I know that most of the time their head falls in my shoulder area. So I try to make sure that I have perfume sprayed in my hugging zones. <laughs> I'm so weird. Hopefully you can see my makeup a little bit better. I know the lighting just sucks in here, but I really, really, really love that Jaclyn Hill palette. I want to sit down and just like play with it one day, but I also don't want to like waste my makeup. Am I the only one that does that? Like I want to sit and play, but then I also don't want to waste my beautiful eyeshadow and not even go nowhere. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's my problem. I'm gonna go ahead and get Lady loaded up because I think I'm gonna take her weed to me and just leave her at Mama's because I'm probably gonna ride with Mama to the party if I'm not too late. I gotta get out of here. Gotta put some jewelry on and my shoes and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. We will be cleaning tomorrow so if you've been looking for some cleaning motivation make sure to come back tomorrow because I will be putting up a cleaning video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye y'all.